All right, have and have not fans. Now, this is a question that I posted a couple of days ago on my community tab on the channel. Do you feel sorry for what Justin is about to go through next week in jail? Basically, um, being assaulted, beaten up, and thrown to the ground. Not dead. I. It, it's pretty clear that Justin is not dead. But the votes tell it all. I mean, we have over 1,100 votes. Only 14% said yes. I think that is far too much punishment. But uh, overwhelming 86% said absolutely not. He's getting what he deserves. Let me just put it out there, out there that in terms of what Justin is about to go through in the next week, and for obvious reasons, I'm not going to show the screenshots of, you know, his pants being pulled down and everything due to, you know, pretty sure demonetization. And, um... I would not wish what's going to happen to him to anyone, but at the same time, that's karma because there's no telling how many men he has done that to in the back of cop cars, um, in the interrogation room where he would shut the cameras off. So what goes around comes around and, you know, I think even one of the thugs in a previous like, yeah, we're going to give you that thing you like so much. And there's no telling if it's just going to be one, because remember, um, Veronica told that one, I'm guessing like the lead, uh, you know, get a bunch of your friends who love to rape and, oh, damn it. That was the word I didn't want to say because of demonetization. I don't feel like editing it out. So, yeah, well, I'm quoting Veronica. So I'm quoting Veronica. Get uh, uh, get like five or six of your friends who love to rape and maim and get arrested within an hour. And, you know, precinct, precinct 11, I believe. And... Yeah, so Justin might get done over by more than one person, which is a fate worse than what Wyatt had. So to be frank, I do believe that um, Justin is getting what he deserves. Once again, I am not condoning what's happening to him, but it's just one of those things where he's done this countless times to, I don't want to assume just black men, but you know, RK and Jeffrey, RK said that it happened to him in the interrogation room, but Justin lost interest because, you know, obviously RK wasn't being turned on by it. We've seen him do this countless times to Jeffrey. And the only time he really um, was going to get Wyatt to do something like that was only because of a favor to get drugs. So, and plus you can also use the excuse that, well, maybe it's come down to the fact that Justin and Jeffrey were on the rock, so to speak. So one of the most humiliating things he could do to Wyatt would be to have him go down on him due to the fact that Wyatt is the man that Jeffrey loves, even though Justin loves Jeffrey, and this this weird triangle thing. But I, I feel like um this probably won't change anything. And what I mean by that is, if just Justin's going to go through this mess, but what's the aftermath of this? What's really going to happen? I think my biggest fear is Jeffrey finding out and trying to help him, or the flip side of that. Veronica was the one that did this to Justin, but will Justin know that Veronica did this to him? And then he'll use that to blame Jeffrey at the end of the day, which is ridiculous. So let me know in the comment section. Do you think Justin is getting what he deserves? Do you think this isn't enough? Do you think that, you know, you feel bad for him? My biggest thing is this. Why did he walk closer to that side of the cell? If I mean, he came in there and then saw the guy sizing him up. He's like, yeah, what the hell are you looking at? And then he just walked around. Next thing you know, they grabbed him by the hood of his hoodie. And then that was it. So I'm just like, well, why did you go over there? Why not just sit on that bench and do nothing? You know, wait for your phone call or whatever. And that's it. But, you know, you just walk around, blame everyone else. It's like, she's lying. Then Veronica's sitting right there. And it's like, uh, what what was his name? The cop that um sent him to the cell, Ray. He's like, Ray, man, call Jeffrey Harrington. You know I can't do that, man. You sob. And then you know, once again, he's just blaming everyone else. Next thing you know, what happens to him happens to him. So will he try to retaliate against Veronica? I think that's a dumb, a dumb thing to do unless you actually kill her this time due to the fact that you gave her a backhand and now look what happened to you. Not only were you arrested, but now you're about to be assaulted too. So. I, I guess it's a question of where you stand on morals. And I have seen some comments in my episode review and other videos in the past few days of some people being a little iffy on whether or not Tyler Perry's doing a bit too much with this. 
being too graphic and whatnot. I'm not really giving my thoughts on it. I'm just sharing what a lot of people have been commenting and tweeting about. And I wanted to get your thoughts. So in the comment section below, um, just let me know. Do you feel like Justin is getting what he deserves? Do you feel like this is too much? Do you feel like Tyler Perry is showing uh, too much quote unquote graphic stuff? And to be honest, I'm pretty dang sure there are other, you know, TV shows and movies that are going to show way more than what we're not going to see next week. So I really want to get your thoughts on that as well. And I think I mentioned this in my trailer breakdown, but I do believe the female cop who's going to come to Justin's aid is the same cop who's part of the LGP, uh, excuse me, LGBT community. And um, that was in the episode a while back where she tried to aid Justin due to the fact that uh, the other cops were, you know, pretty much, you know, verbally teasing him and whatnot for not only cheating on his wife, but also being in being interested in a man. And she kind of jumped to his aid is like, yeah, uh, us in the LGBT community got to stick together. And he didn't want to identify with that. So I do feel like that's good continuity if this is the same female cop. So uh, once again, guys, if you are new to the channel, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button because those likes and subscribes really do help the videos and on top of that in the comment section below really tell me your thoughts on how do you feel about what Justin's about to go through and um, at the core it's like karma for me I feel like it's just karma but I just don't want the aftermath to be him blaming Jeffrey for this and then Jeffrey feeling bad even though he had nothing to do with this so and yeah he really had nothing to do with this just nobody told Justin to backhand Veronica nobody told him to do that and I even did a video, what was it, last week, uh, did she deserve to be uh, pimp slapped by Justin? And in that situation, not really. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens next. So thanks so much for tuning in, and I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you just saw, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Or if you have anything you would like to add to the video, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to keep up with me on social media, go to the description box. All of my links for social media are right there. Also, if you feel like you would like to donate to the channel, make sure to click on the link to PayPal. Any amount helps, a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars. As a full-time YouTuber, any support from my fans really does mean a lot to me. Finally, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you're kept up to date on any new content I post to the channel. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you in the next video.